everyone welcome back to your favorite channel and i can see today a lot of you have already joined in hey ashmita hi rabindra nagendra is also here gun gun nimrit tamali palak welcome back guys welcome back to your favorite channel by juice class 6 7 and 8 champions kushwant is here lakshmi some new names some old names awesome anurag arush abhishek welcome back guys a very very warm welcome how are you how is everyone doing today gungun ne pehle bata diya ma'am you are perfectly audible and visible hi shivanshi darpan dev deepman palak Fuse King is asking, ma'am, is this for class sixth? So, if you're in class sixth, seventh, or eighth, this is for all of you today. Yes, we are going to play a game today. Yes, absolutely right. So, what are we going to do today? Evolution of clothing. That's what we will be discovering today. That's what we will actually be discussing. So, just like we have a variety of food items, we also have a variety of fabrics, right? And a lot of clothing styles. And this is the agenda for today. so you have to be really really attentive throughout the session because there's going to be a game based on whatever we are studying right now thank you anurag gungun is really excited for the session hey deepa i am doing really well adira how are you prabodha is here babita dev kumar kriti tiwari ranjana Ranjana you need to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon you will get notified about all the sessions all the upcoming sessions yes anam hi we meet again absolutely tejasvi all right anshi ashmita singh ma'am i like cotton and jute great okay i have a question for you people have you always been dressed like this the way we are dressed right now or you think we have evolved over time what do you think Hey Palak, we will be discussing the homework question. Don't worry. Shivanshi is also super excited. Good evening, Anza. Good evening. I am doing really well. Thank you. Good evening, guys. Rangta says evolved. Dev says evolved over time. Gun Gun says yes, we've changed. Great, Ranjana. Good to know that. you think basically they might have taken science as an integrated subject how can we submit the homework just open the video that you are watching and in the comment section you can post your answer rabindra loves the game and quiz great so dev kumar is saying yes we have evolved over time and we all agree with dev isn't it explore means today we are going to play a game yes absolutely right palak we will be playing a game today hi vishwa gungun says leaves bark trees from there to the stylish dress that we've reached now great you people seem really excited for the session which is just awesome all right quickly tell me are you in grade 6 or 7 or 8 quickly post that and with a thumbs up so if you're in grade 6 so write down grade 6 with a thumbs up the thumbs up is if i'm perfectly audible visible and the ppt is absolutely fine so let me know your grade and of course you need to confirm you need to give me a green signal that everything is working fine so we have kids from grade 6 nagendra is from 8 anshi 7th a mix of all the classes awesome yes this session is for all of you great most of you are from grade 6 so let's see aaj jab hum game khelenge to grade 6 ke students pehle answer karte hain 7th ke ya 8th ke absolutely really interesting topic really fascinating topic something that we actually must be aware of yes मोहम्मद अंजरत ने मुझे सारी लाइट्स दे दी हैं 
ग्रीन सिग्नल दे दिया है लाइक प्रॉपर सिग्नल ऑल राइट दर्पण नोटेड सो नाउ दैट आई नो यूर इन विच ग्रेट एंड यू गिवन मी अ गुड टू गो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड राइट संतोष बिल्कुल वो वाली क्लासेस भी होंगी डोंट यू वरी सो दिस इज अ टॉपिक विच इज वेरी मच इन वेरी मच इन क्लास सिक्स ऑल्सो सेवन ऑल्सो एट ऑल्सो या सो लेट्स लर्न हाउ क्लोथिंग एज इवॉल्व ओवर टाइम ग्रेट आई कैन सी योर एनर्जी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड यू पीपल हैव टू कीप आंसरिंग कीप दिस चैट बॉक्स लाइव वी कीप दिस कमिंग बिकॉज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी यू नो आस्ट great it must be so yes be attentive because as i told you there's going to be a game towards the end great all right so as you people said i think dev said that right and all of us are going to agree with dev that we have evolved over time so our ancestors lost hair from the body and that's when the need of clothing emerged yes so let's see how exactly this happened how are we dividing the timeline so the history of clothing that we are going to talk about this history is going to be long and colorful it's a really really interesting topic and let's see what are the sub parts over here that we have yes rabindra absolutely true prehistoric age we'll be discussing about the prehistoric age 4000 bc what happened 6000 years ago what was the way of clothing 6000 years ago we'll be talking about that 5000 years ago and of course 208 years ago 1830 ad we will be talking about all these great let's start with the prehistoric age and i'm going to ask you what do you think according to you prehistoric age mein aapka kya concept of clothing ka what do you think was being used Tamali says, first our clothes were made with leaves. Abhishek, homework winners will definitely be discussed. Don't worry. Gun Gun says, leaves, animal skin. How many of you are voting for leaves? I see a lot of you, right? Leaves, leaves, leaves. Ashmita says, fur. Okay, animal skin. सबसे पहले सबसे इनिशियली क्या हुआ ओ यू पीपल आर पोस्टिंग लीव्स, लीव्स के इमोजी पोस्ट कर दिए ऑल राइट यस यू पीपल आर राइट सो लीव्स बार्क्स ऑफ ट्रीज वर बीइंग यूज इन द प्री हिस्टोरिक एज राइट बेसिकली फोर्सेस ऑफ नेचर या सो दिस वाज द फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लोथिंग दैट दे हैड सो काइंड ऑफ दे टूक नेचर हेल्प वट एवर दे कुड फाइंड इन नेचर दे मेड यूज ऑफ इट एंड दे मेड a good use of it actually and this is how they were understanding the concept of clothing at that point of time then animal hair or fleece were also being twisted together into long strands so animal skin and furs were being used so over here fleece basically is the covering woolen covering right ab hum thoda sa aage badh gaye hain animal Here use ho raha hai, fleece use ho raha hai to make long strands. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not skin. Abhi ham hair par hai. Correct. Yes, absolutely. So leaves, bugs, animal hair. We are till now using all this as a clothing material. स्किन पे भी आएंगे स्किन पे भी आएंगे डोंट वरी यस एब्सोल्युटली यू कैन राइट दिस ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन सो नाउ लेट्स गो बैक 6000 इयर्स ओके नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट वे ऑफ क्लोथिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू यू आपके अकॉर्डिंग नेक्स्ट वे क्या था स्किन करेक्ट 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 All right. Yes. So now skin is actually coming into role. So clothes out of animal skins were being used. Initially hair and then animal skin. We are stepping up slowly. Yes. I see all of you write about animal skin. Great. 
करेक्ट करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली राइट आई थिंक व्हेन वी विल स्टार्ट प्लेइंग द गेम नाउ आप लोग क्विकली आंसर कर दोगे बिकॉज़ यू पीपल आर पोस्टिंग ऑल द आंसर्स बिफोर आई एक्चुअली मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड उससे पहले ही आप लोग आंसर बता दो कि मैम अभी ये था नेक्स्ट चीज हुआ happy translations what's your name post your name also and tell me you from which grade so active all right okay now what was happening in ancient india so 6000 years ago india mein kya ho raha tha wo bhi hum simultaneously dekh lete hain so people wore fabrics made out of cotton so cotton basically grew in the regions near ganga we all know that ganga is one of the world's great rivers yeah right सारी स्वेटर बहुत आगे चले गए थोड़ा पीछे आ जाओ धीरे धीरे स्लोली मील वील गो हेड ओके अच्छा कॉटन की जब हम बात करते हैं कॉटन फाइबर की जब हम बात करते हैं प्लांट के कौन से पार्ट से हमें कॉटन फाइबर्स ऑप्टेन होते हैं लेट्स सी अ क्विक क्वेश्चन ग्रेट सिक्स माइट नो दिस सेवन एंड एट रिकॉल एंड रिमेंबर ए नायरा फ्रूट 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 ऑल राइट ऑल राइट अभिषेक बॉल्स करेक्ट 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 यस बिल्कुल सही कॉटन बॉल्स राइट दिस फ्रूट्स एंड दिस कॉटन बॉल्स से बर्स्ट ओपन एंड फाइबर्स कवर्ड विथ सीड्स दे अपियर वॉट डू वी डू वी जस्ट सेपरेट द सीड्स फ्रॉम दीज फाइबर्स एंड देन वी मेक मोस्ट ऑफ दीज फाइबर्स यस Do you know India is the largest producer of cotton? Great. It's okay, Nagendra. Absolutely correct. Yes, right. Right, Ravindra, you're right. All right. Yes, Anurag. Really. So, let's see what happened next. So now we are moving on to 3000 BC. That is 5000 years ago. What happened 5000 years ago? Let's see. Let's talk about this now. Maharashtra. Okay, you're writing the states as well. Ashmina says ginning. Absolutely. So just process hota hai, jisse seeds hum remove kar rahe hain, and we're getting the cotton fiber. That process is known as ginning. Easy peasy, yes. You're gonna enjoy the game absolutely. All right. So stitching is not known till now. Okay, we are in 3000 BC, 5000 years ago. Stitching is still not known. Tailoring was not that common. So what was being done? Basically, people would simply drape the fabric around their body. Unstitched fabric, oh, in a way, oh, drape kar rahe hain. People had different ways of draping. It's okay, Ali. Correct. Happy translations, Sunny. Yes, absolutely. Great. It's like you people already know the history really well. Correct. Yes. All right. Next, what do you think happened? some really interesting invention happened and then it kind of changed the history of clothing what was that make a random guess and tell me over here let's see who's going to guess that it got stitched okay how yes wrapped what happened what happened tell me stitching is taking place all right tailoring machine sewing stitching yes so 200 years back what happened guys invention of stitching machine as you people are staying saying over there stitching machine of course goes without saying sewing needle iske invention se kya hua well a lot of fabrics could be stitched so in a way we've stepped up up we have a really nice way of stitching and people started stitching fabrics to make 
clothes. So stitch clothes have gone through many variations, you know, since this invention. Do you agree? Correct stitching, yes. But you know, even till date, unstitched fabric is being used. Can you guess? Can you give me some examples? This was actually a really wonderful invention. I agree. But till date also, modern time maybe, unstitched fabric we use kar rahe hain. Kis way mein? Sari. All right. Correct. Dhoti. Yes. You got it right. What else? Turban. Correct. Correct. Dhoti and sari. I see a lot of you write about sari. I think sari has been used ever since. Dhoti, dhoti, dhoti. Turban, sari. Correct. Yeah, so they are still being used in an unstitched manner. Great. Absolutely, Nikki, you are correct. Yes, Abhindra. Old times se saadi chalti a rahi hai. Yes, Dhoti is right. Yes, Tamali. Yes, Anurag. Yes, Ali. Let's learn, correct. Palak. Great. Yes, you people are coming up with more examples as well. So, over here, this was about a brief history. Now, what do you have to do? Use your knowledge, use your imagination while we play the game. I am just going to mark the answer. You are going to tell me where to place what. Yes? So, if you all are set, give me a quick thumbs up in the comment section that yes, ma'am, we are all set to play the game now. I see a lot of smileys coming, thumbs up coming. Yes, ma'am, gaming, thumbs up, smiley, everything is coming. Great, super excited, so am I. Absolutely, it doesn't matter if you're in class 6, 7th or 8, anyone can play this game. All right, so let's learn in an interesting way now. So we have this setup. We are just going to load the game for you people. You keep giving me loads of thumbs up in the chat box to tell me that yes, you all are super confident that you will mark the correct, you will make me mark the correct answer. Anurag is saying, start ma'am. All right, the game is loading. All right, so it's an annual clothing event over here. And meet Arya. We have to help Arya to dress up the participants from different eras. Okay, now you have to tell me what to place where. Okay, so here we have Tom and Jeff. Tom wants to be dressed up as an early man from 20,000 BC Africa. Meanwhile, Jeff wants to be dressed up as a man from the Indus Valley civilization of 3000 BC. They are going to give us some options over here. Think about this one. You have to choose the correct clothing. Okay, so I will just drag and place whatever you are going to tell me. Two examples over here. Can you see? We have cotton drape. And we have animal skin. First of all, note their timeline and note their location. Dono cheese dekho, timeline dekho kya hai, location dekho kya hai. For Tom, it's 20,000 BC Africa. For Jeff, it's 3,000 BC India. Let's do one thing. Let's start with Tom. Pehle Tom ko dress up karte hain. What do you think? Cotton or animal skin? Give me a quick vote in the comment section. For Tom, what should I drag and place? Cotton or animal skin? Animal skin, animal skin, cotton, animal skin, cotton, animal skin, animal skin. Alright, for Tom, yes for Tom. 
most of you are saying animal skin. Just imagine, okay, there's nothing in this to mug up, right? 20,000 BC Africa. Kya lagta hai? Kya use ho raha time pe? Animal skin, all right. Are you sure? Chalo, theek hai. If you people are really sure, let me place it over here. What about Jeff? Dev says, cotton draped around. Anil. Cotton. Vishwa. Cotton, 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 cotton. All right, all right. Chalo, cotton kar dete hain. Give me a quick thumbs up and then I'll click on this go button. Give me a green signal that yes, we are very sure and let's cross check our answers now. Quick green signal, quick thumbs up. If you think this is the right way of setting this up so that we check the answer. Are we really right? I see a lot of yes, a lot of thumbs up. So let's check this. Let's check if we are actually right. So yes, early men drape themselves with animal skin and leaves, right? Forces of nature as I told you, that was being used initially to clothe themselves. So well done, you people are right. Indians in 3000 BC wore fabrics made out of cotton. Correct. And we discussed how from a cotton fruit the fiber is being obtained, right? Let me tell you one interesting fact and one interesting use of cotton. Fact to start karte hai, achha. It's in the way of a question. Let me ask you a question actually. Do you think cotton fibers are always white? Maybe grade 6 kids will be able to answer this faster than 7 and 8. Is a cotton fiber, natural cotton fiber always white? No, yes, no, 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 no. Make a random guess of the other colors it might appear in. Green, correct. What else? I saw somebody write green. Ali says green and pink, correct. So green, pink, correct, correct. Brown, white, kisi bhi color ka natural cotton fiber ko sakta hai. So if you think it's just white, that's not really true. And we all know where cotton is used, right? Cotton ka use, hum sabko pata hai. Common uses pata hai. Let me share one interesting use of cotton. But you have to figure out the place. You have to figure out where this is being used. So somewhere, cotton curren currency is also being used. So currency made out of cotton is being used. So you have to figure out where is this happening. Yes, currency notes. Yeah, absolutely. Cotton is the king of natural fibers. Bohut interesting facts are cotton ke baare mein. Diva seems a bit amazed. Yes, absolutely. I want you to figure out ki kyu wo currency notes cotton ke hai, kaha pe hai and kyu hai. Kuch to aisi property hogi cotton ki. Yes, Ashmita, correct. So yes, there is so much to explore guys. Let's move on to the next one. Are you ready? Aage bade? Alright, we have Jill and Ben with us now. Jill wants to be dressed as a Chinese Empress from 2000 BC. What about Ben? Let's see. Ben wants to be a priest from ancient Egypt. Alright, this is something interesting now. Okay, so Jill, 2000 BC. Okay, it's this side. Yeah, okay. Jill, 2000 BC China and Ben, 4000 BC Egypt. Let's start with Jill. On one side we have silk, on the other side we have linen. Now linen is a textile made from the fibers of flax plant. Okay, I know you know about silk. Jill says start karte. Which option should I choose? Silk or linen? For Jill. Let's see, let's see. Are we going to choose the right one or not? A lot of you are saying silk, silk. Rabindu is saying some technical issue. Can't see. Just, just refresh it once. I hope it's not happening with others. Hey, everybody is voting for silk now. Great. Chalo, ye to silk kar deti hu because all of you are giving a unanimous answer. What about Ben then? 
Tell me quickly about Ben. Len in all right, all right, okay. You have to give me a thumbs up, a good to go, a green signal, then only I'll click on go. You know the drill now. A quick thumbs up if you're sure we have placed this correctly. See this? Tell me. All right, you people seem pretty confident. Let's see, let's check this then. And it's correct. So, silk fibers are obtained from cocoons and this knowledge was known and used by Chinese dynasties, right? And what about Egypt? So, people in ancient Egypt wore clothing made from linen. It's a light, cool fabric, really suitable for hot climates, right? So, in Egypt, basically cotton and flax both were being cultivated near, near the Nile River. What is a really interesting fact about Nile, by the way? Tell me, tell me. Think about this. You must have read it somewhere. Yes, Ali, you are absolutely right. It's the longest river on earth, correct. So, figure out and guess actually. First guess and then figure out what's the stretch in kilometers. I want all of you to find this out. Yes, yes, absolutely right. Great. Let's move on. Let's see what's the next one now. All right, we've got Sia and Emma and they represent women from ancient times. All right, note it. Abby and Sam, they represent women from modern times. Great. So, let's see ki kya kya options hain. Let's choose the correct clothing for them. So, on one side, we've got sari, silk drape around and over there we have sari and so silk dress. Sari is common on both the sides, but over one area it's unstitched. Okay, silk is also there on both the sides, unstitched at one place, stitched at the other. Great, okay, well this is no rocket science, I can see you people are all already answering it correctly. Easy peasy, this one is nice. Okay, for ancient one, should I go for sari and silk? Or should I go for sari and sewed silk dress? CI and Emma, I should go for the first one. And the good part is, all of you are voting for the same answer. The chat box is flooding with the correct answer. Alright, so let me place this over here. And this over here. Quickly give me a thumbs up if you think this is absolutely right. Thumbs up. Good to go, green signal that yes, we are pretty sure. Alright, loads of thumbs up are coming. So, let's cross check this. Green signal, smileys, everything is coming because you are correct. So, initially, sewing techniques were not there, right? So, fabrics were being draped around. Sari was being used at old times also. In modern times as well, it's being used all the time actually. But now with the discovery of sewing needles, People started stitching and we all know stitched fabrics have gone through many variations, right? Correct. Absolutely right. Yes, you are absolutely right. So, over here, let's see. Well done, guys. We have basically dressed up correctly, all of them correctly. Yes. Confirm, confirm. <laughs> Great. Yes, you people are absolutely right. All right. So, after this session, what do I want you to do? Well, let's see. After this session, I want all of you to look at the photos of clothes worn by your grandparents, okay. Yeah, so look at the photos as initial photos as you can see, as old photos as you can see. In fact, you can go further back in time as well and explore what was happening 
in different parts of the world. Yes, how many of you are going to do this? Because I think this topic is actually really fascinating. Yes, Abhishek is saying my grandfather wears dhoti, yeah. Grandmother wears sari, absolutely. Great, awesome. All right, all right. So, with this, we've come to end. We've come to the end of today's session. And as I keep telling you, we've definitely got you covered. You have a lot of things to explore, guys. We've I've given you really tiny homework. I know that, but these are really interesting homework, right? Find out about cotton currency. Find out about the stretch of the river, longest river. Go back, explore some photographs all across the world and learn about this interesting, fascinating topic a bit more. And of course, there is a trial class link being given to you in the description box. A link is there, absolutely free guys. So go ahead, try this out as well. Yes? Great, awesome. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Quickly like this video right away. Like this video and give me a thumbs up over here that we've liked this video. Subscribe, I'm sure you have now done it. If you haven't done it, do it right away and hit the bell icon. Yes, happy translations. I didn't get your name, but your answer is absolutely right. Aditya, correct. See, you people are so curious and inquisitive. Great, awesome. Great, guys. So keep exploring the beauty of science and I'll see you in the next session. Take care. Bye-bye.